to say, if he wants to run for president in 2012, uh, resigning as governor... Oh, Adam, that's great! That's the best news ever of all month, and I've heard all kinds of news, like Magus came back, and you know, there's been new uh, Mandela of Spink, and Jumble Junkie, and his birthday videos, and all these videos, but now the rest of the videos, like, oh, that who cow is uh, that dummy and Sarah Palin's leaving, and I was like, oh, that sexy little piece of ham sandwich is out, She's back on our level now. She's not one of those high and mighty uh, politician, presidential. Can you believe she was a presidential candidate? People are like, oh, you're going to get the vice president uh, next election. You should run against Obama yourself, Sarah. You should get your your political savvy and your huge uh, cerebrum, Sarah, cerebellum brain out there. And it's like, oh, lordy, lordy. Now well, maybe she can do like Hustler magazine and Playboy magazine and stuff. And she, uh, I don't know, she's signing at the end of the week or something within a few weeks and I was like alright now no, you're gonna get the old high and mighty and we don't want to hear about you know your uh, whatever what was your husband's name again I forget Tony or something and your pregnant kids and all this hullabaloo and stuff and I was like oh she's gone oh maybe we can actually get the governor who knows all the governor and doesn't live on the top of a mountain or she's out staring at Russia from her house and stuff she live on Mount Olympus or what the hell is uh, I don't know it's not somewhere else it looks like a cabin in the woods or something but you know it doesn't matter that doesn't make a that does not make a bad person to live there. No, 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 no. No, Alaska is great, but now Sarah Palin's gone, and they're about to worry about you know her being the president of the United States and stuff like that. Cause that'd be crazy. <laughs> oh shit. Anyway, so yeah, well, you know, the drinks are on me, I guess. So everyone, we have a little bit of a reason to be a little happy now. I guess you can kind of well, how does it affect the people in Edmonton? I don't know. But uh, so have a nice trip, Sarah. You can give me a ring whenever you're in town or something. We'll go see a hockey game and, you know, we can talk about your kids and stuff. And, uh, you know, being a great grandmother and your daughter's only 20 and stuff like that. So whatever. Bye.